In this video, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to install in-wall speakers and run the wiring through your walls. I'm going to finish installing this last uh, rear channel speaker in this wall. I'm going to cut the hole out, show you how I put the wiring through the walls. By the time this is all said and done, hopefully it will make your job of installing in-wall speakers a little easier. I'm going to be installing this last surround sound speaker, which is the right rear channel. In order to get your speaker wires through your walls, whether you're coming up from the basement or down through the attic, I recommend an easy way is to find an old fishing rod. Maybe you have one hanging out in the garage somewhere you haven't used in a long time. You could snap off or bend off all the eyelets, and then you could simply tape your speaker wire on your fishing rod. And then from the attic going down, it easily bends down through the attic wall or from the basement, you can also go up. Now, if either one of those don't work and you're gonna run it down towards the floor, you're gonna cut a small, maybe two inch square hole in your drywall and you can fish the wire up through that way as well. And then you'll just have to put in a drywall patch. But using an old fishing rod uh, is a good way to get speaker wire through your walls. Now when you buy in-wall speakers, somewhere inside the box is going to be a template. A lot of times it's going to be on the inside of the lid or maybe on the bottom. But if you open this box, right here is a template. And this is what most in-wall speakers are going to look like. You're going to cut out this round template and then we're going to place that on the wall and that's going to be our cutout opening. Now that I have the template cut out, I like to put a crosshair in the center of the template. So you just measure across the diameter of the template, whatever half of that is, you put a little cross section. So that way when you're holding it up against the wall, you can run your tape measure off of the floor, up to the crosshairs, and you know you'll have all of your speakers at the same height. So I want the center of my speakers at 53 inches off of the floor. So with that crosshair, I can easily bring that right down to my 53 inch mark. And then I'll measure from the wall over. And then I'm gonna trace around the template with a pen. And then I'll have my cutout line. Now that you have the template on the wall, you're gonna to wanna to use a drywall saw. And you're gonna saw out this hole diameter. And a drywall saw is kind of a special kind of hand saw used for cutting drywall. It's got a really sharp point. So in order to get it started, you just get it lined up and then give the end of the handle a good tap. And now we're just gonna saw this entire hole out. Now that you have your speaker hole placed and cut out, you can go in the attic or the basement or come up through the bottom of the wall. You're going to tape that speaker wire to your fishing pole, fish it down through the wall or up through the wall, however you're doing it. It's easier to have one person pushing this and the other person reaching inside this hole to feel the pole and the wire to help pull it through. Once you get your speaker wire out through your mounting hole, Gonna go ahead and trim off the ends of this so you can see the bare copper wire to plug into the speaker. And I highly recommend you use in-wall speaker wire. This stuff has a super smooth shield on it, so it actually goes through insulation and through a wall a little easier. Uh, it's all in one piece, it's nice and round. It's, it's a lot easier than just going to a Walmart and buying regular speaker wire. I'll put a link in the description below for this in-wall speaker wire as well. Now I want to show you the back of the speaker. In order to hold this in the wall, it's got these kind of turning feet. When you go to tighten the screw, this foot is going to turn out. And then as you tighten the screw, it's going to sandwich the speaker to your drywall. So once you connect your speaker wire, you're going to want to make sure that you have a screwdriver in hand. And you're going to want to push this in the wall Hold it in and get at least one foot tightened. If you just push it into the wall, it's going to fall right back out. So my speaker wire is connected. I'm going to shove the excess wire 
inside the mounting hole. And before I push the speaker in, you want to make sure that these feet are not rotated to their locking position. This one should be down. This one's down. If it's out a little bit, you won't be able to get the speaker into the mounting hole. So the bottom two, you usually got to hold with your fingers a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and push it into the wall. And usually there's insulation behind here, just like this one. And if you were to let it go, it's usually going to push the speaker out and it's going to fall out. That's why you want to have a screwdriver in hand as soon as you push it into the wall. And then you're just going to start tightening the screws. And you have to turn these screws quite a bit because you could mount this in a wall that's about one inch thick. And that little clamping foot has got to move that much because this is only a half inch drywall. So the thicker the wall, the less you're going to have to turn the screw. And you don't want to go real tight. It just right now got snug. That's as tight as you want to get. So these particular speakers come with either the round grill or the square grill. And for this particular application, we're going to use the square one. All you do is line it up, push on it just a little bit, and it snaps right in place. Now all my speakers are done and mounted. I hope some of my tips that I shared in this video helps you make your job a little bit smoother and easier. Hope you find this video helpful and informational, and thanks for watching.